Howdy uh, folks, um, I'm looking at a video right now and I, I've studied, done some study about uh, or some looks on videos of uh, quantum mechanics and stuff like that and there's a, a kind of a problem uh, with, with the measuring problem if you have the two slit experiments and um, what they say is that the wave function of the particle is collapsing on the, on the moment that you are uh, observing it why? And uh, well, I think it's a very pretty simple. I mean, you op are observing it. The action of observing is uh, what you call collapsing the wave wave function of the um, of the um, of the particle, which is basically uh, not entirely correct, because uh, at least from my point of view, uh, if I understand correctly, of course I I could be wrong, but I I don't think I am. In this case, um, you have a wave function of the the particle, which is uh, a small, very teeny weeny wave function. But you also have the wave function of the instrument, observing instrument, and that wave function is, man, it's it's it's, it's a macroscopic object. So uh, what happens is that the, if 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 a particle is observed, is that you make it part of the uh, uh, observing uh, instrument. And so it seems to be uh, 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 collapsing, but no, it is making part of the wave function of the instrument, which is way much bigger. I mean, an, 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 uh, an instrument is way much bigger than the particle itself. So uh, the wave function of the instrument is um, confining the, the wave function of the, the particle and becomes part of the macroscopic object and thus starts to behave classically or as a macroscopic object and so is there a, a, a measuring uh, a problem i don't think so i think that the the wave functions do not collapse but be, they merge it's a, a merger of two type of wave function from which one is 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 a very small uh, wave function or a ver very small particle particle and uh, um, it's, it's like comparing that, that there's a, a meteorite of, of uh, well, let's say, um, 50 centimeters falling to Earth. Well, does the Earth, uh, 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 does, does, the, uh, does the meteor collapse? No, it, it, it merges with the Earth or whatever kind, or the Moon or whatever kind of uh, planet. So it becomes invisible for, for um, it seems to, to uh, have the collapsed, but uh, no, it makes part of uh, the, the bigger system. In this case, the the planet where that it hits, and the same with with um, with the, the wave function of a small particle like electron, proton, even they, they have a, little, a larger particles of uh, what is it, ten thousand uh, atomic masses. They've uh, created interference patterns with uh, two slit patterns with it, so uh, it becomes it becomes merged with uh, with uh, the thing that you op try to observe the particle with. And uh, wave function collapse? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think it's a merger between the two wave functions. Okay, this is what I want to share about uh, wave functions and the seemingly uh, measurement problem. I don't think there is a measurement problem. I, I think it, it, it just, it just become, becomes part of the measurement instrument. And it's so tiny and teeny and weeny that you can, uh, you can hardly see it. So it seems to be a measurement problem, but uh, no, it just becomes part of it. Uh, just as in the screen, where it hits the screen, uh, it becomes part of the screen. So the wave function seems to disappear. No, it merges with the wave function of the screen, the observing screen. Well, this is my idea about it. Um, and uh, yeah. If you have any, any other ideas, share it with me, please. And um, okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.